Welcome to the Navigating Your Life show. The focus of tonight's show is going to be on that creative person yearning to come out inside of you. We've titled tonight's show, The Creative You. We had a chance to visit at the Banana Factory, which is located in Bethlehem, to talk about some of the work that they do to help individuals allow for that side of themselves to show. So here is what happened on our visit with them. Creativity is really the passion that fuels Arts Quest and the Banana Factory in particular since we house all these wonderful artists and showcase artwork and teach art because it is really something that we find in our everyday life. We can find creativity in just thinking about something. There's many classes here at Banana Factory every day of the week and evenings. So we have anything from like jewelry, we have clay. Photography, digital photography, sculpture. Glass blowing, drawing, painting, mixed media. There's a lot of classes and a lot of events going on. Uh, so stop by here anytime and students always open. I encourage everyone to try to do something creative. We found that everybody has creativity and that you just need to know how to unleash it. And so this is a safe, wonderful place where you can come with really expert instructors and then state-of-the-art studio, learn how to create something. And you realize it's not about staying in the lines. It's about really creating something that no one's seen before that is really just unique for you and your self-expression. I always say everyone's an artist and I believe that we're all born an artist and we have creativity you know just running through us and we just need to um, find what we like to do. Artists are artists it doesn't matter what your age you know you're welcome here you just have to pick the group that you want to be in the class that you want to take. Creativity is such an important thing because it really leads to great ideas and great ideas leads to growth and this this area, the Lehigh Valley, is growing by leaps and bounds, and with creativity fueling it passionately, it's going to be a very interesting place to live. We sort of gear our classes for the person who wants to come in and, let's say, dabble with jewelry making. You've never made any jewelry before, and all of a sudden, six weeks later, you have a beautiful bracelet or necklace. Same thing goes with glass blowing. There are classes where you just come in off the street and within like an hour and a half you've made something really wonderful in glass. So we want to tell you that we're welcoming and don't be intimidated by any of the classes we have here. What people can experience at the Banana Factory is really a wide range of different artistic offerings. If you like the fine arts, you can go into either of our two galleries, the Crayola Gallery or the Banco Gallery, and there's always some really incredible and interesting gallery exhibition. We also have two floors with artists who have their studios there, so for a really different kind of experience with art, go meet the artists. They all have their studio doors open, and if you come on a first Friday, you get to meet everyone and see their work. I teach an after-school program that comes here every day of the week during school called Be Smart, and that's um, a program that's designed and funded for uh, middle school kids of inner city schools, just two schools though, Northeast and Brockle. And the kids come over on the bus and they have an option of about five different courses they can take. The arts, besides being a creative outlet for people, also has many other benefits. Stress reduction. People come here after work and they are all stressed out. They put their hands into some clay, they make a beautiful pot, and all of a sudden, it's really easy to go to sleep at night. Now, I'm not saying that that takes the place of any kind of a sleeping pill, but what I am saying is that people feel great after they create art, and it really just clears your mind. Everyone in my class here hasn't necessarily made jewelry before, okay? So they came to learn basic techniques, which is what I teach. 
Glassworks really takes a team if you're going to create glass art. And how that can be really illustrated well is when you come to see one of our classes and you see students working together, it really is a team experience. And actually, it's almost like an orchestrated ballet, if you will. If somebody just messes up just a little bit, the piece can be off. So when it's really working well and everyone's in tandem, the teamwork is wonderful. It's not like a school here. It's it's a community art center that we feel, you know, um, you can always learn something new. And if you want to, like for example, clay, I know there's a lot of following in clay and um, people just keep signing up for it and just keep coming back because they're learning to throw on the wheel, which takes a long time to learn. If you're interested in art or in learning something new that's creative, you could just go to our website, www.artsquest.org, and click on Banana Factory. Banana Factory is a great place to come out and make art. You know, we always have events here too. We have every first Friday, all the studios are open here. We have a, two very beautiful galleries that the shows change, you know every month or every other month or depending on the show. What's so exciting for ArtsQuest in particular is that uh, May in 2011 we're expanding our campus to cover the site at Steel Stacks across from the blast furnaces and if you're interested in music or the visual arts or cinema it's going to be a great place to go on a weekly basis to see new things and it's just going to really increase our creativity quotient by leaps and bounds. Do you want to achieve your personal best? Then join Dr. Nat Williams for the Absolutes of Success series Attaining Your Personal Best Workshop in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania on Saturday, November 13th. Workshop highlights include a better understanding of challenging life events, life's least common denominators, reframing, and developing a solid plan for the future. Register today, only $50, which includes the Absolutes of Success series workbook. See you there. Hi, my name is John Choi, glass worked at the Banana Factory. I'm studio manager here. And I will be making a glass pumpkin today. Okay, right now I just took a gather, uh, took a little bit of glass out of the furnace. Uh, each time we took a glass out of there, we call the gather. And now I just trap a little bit of air, blow into the end of the pipe, and I have this hollow bubble. And I let it cool down a little bit, and I know I'm going to go back into the furnace and get a little more material. So uh, now I'm going to go back in and get a little more glass and add color. Yep. Let me get this part set up. All right, I just took a second gather and I just simply uh, rolled the hot glass onto the uh, metal tray and there is a, a small crushed up color glass. That's how we uh, add color into our clear glass. So right now I'm just gonna repeat in that same step just to add a little more color. Uh, glass blowing, it's all about teamwork. Uh, you could make a lot of beautiful, exciting pieces with uh, two or more people. Uh, it's very hard to do with by yourself. Uh, you can see right now Dennis and I are working together. Uh, blow real light. Okay, stop.
you can't really think about anything else when you have a blowpipe in your hand. Uh, you got this 2,000 degree molten glass, you need to pay attention. So you cannot worry about you know, anything else but glass. So you kind of uh, escape from me a little bit in a way, blow light. Because my you know, thought process right now, I'm just worrying about this glass, nothing else. Okay, stop. So I guess uh, some people find um, kind of therapeutic, I guess, um, not thinking about your job or you know any worries or nothing like that. Just come here, enjoy yourself, and create art. Okay, right now we were, we're going to punny up. Uh, basically, Dennis has a little bit of glass on the end of the other stick. We're going to put it on here and transfer this piece onto the other rod called punty. Then you start working on the opening of the, uh, the top of the pumpkin. So at this point, we're actually working uh, bottom side first. So we're going to make a little temporary attachment. Make sure it's there, both rods are lined up and even and center. That's one of the most important part of the glass blowing. Keep things on center. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of water, shock it, a little vibration, piece comes off. Go start the stem. So now I'm adding a stem. Okay, with the rod. Yeah, hold it right like that. Yeah, all the way. Point the out, point the other way. Yeah. Touch it on there, that's good. So, that's a nice, pretty curly stem for the pumpkin. So, that's our last step. And it will be a nice golden pumpkin. That's a finished piece. Yep. All right, so now it's gonna sit in the box for about overnight and slowly cool down, taking all the stress out of the glass and back to room temperature. And hopefully on day or two, it'll be ready. We wanna thank our friends at the Banana Factory for taking the time to visit with us. We're now gonna take a commercial break, so please stay with us, we'll be right back. Enrich your life at Sacred Heart Villa, situated atop Mount St. Michael on 40-plus scenic acres. Our caring staff includes missionary sisters and on-site licensed nurses 24-7. We offer medical reminders as well as dispensing medication and transportation to medical appointments. With excellent food, fun events, a spacious hall, safe rooms, and much more, your life will be enriched. Call 610-929-5751 or go to sacredheartvilla-readingpa.org. 
Ready for some fun? FunWorks assists individuals with and without disabilities to participate in community activities. These activities are provided in small settings for one to eight individuals with at least one to two direct support professionals. We visit places like Dollywood, Willow Valley Inn, Phillies Games, Iron Pigs Games, the Lehigh Valley Zoo, and more. Let us know your dream trip. Our staff is dedicated to ensuring your dream activities come true. For more information, call 888-966-9466 or visit funworksinc.org. Explore Dr. Nat Williams' Absolutes of Success book series featuring The Navigator of Life, The Mature 64, Living Life 8x8, Management and Leadership by the Three Ps, The Affordability Factor, The Four C's of Change, Embracing Your Real Life, and the Absolutes of Success series workbook, Maximizing Your Greatest Potential to Achieve Your Personal Best. All books available at drnatwilliams.com or amazon.com. You choose your doctor. You choose your pharmacy. Why shouldn't you choose your in-home health care provider? The good news is you can and you should. When your hospital or doctor prescribes home care, Alan Lear Home Care Associates will work with you in the comfort of your own home, providing a full range of services. Our nurses are dedicated professionals that take the time to get to know you and help you return to your optimal health. Call Alan Lear Home Care Associates. Caring for you when you need us most. When caring about someone becomes caring for someone, there's help at your beck and call. For over 12 years, Beck and Call's in-home caregivers have been providing assistance with the activities of daily living, everything from mealtime to bathing, or just being there when you can't be. Being at home is important to them. Give them flexible assisted living services that come right to the door. Gain peace of mind. Call Beck and Call today at 570-426-7507. We look forward to your family becoming part of ours. Welcome back. We now have a studio guest, and her name is Ms. Shannon Fugate, who is the director of the Bomb School of the Arts in Allentown. So welcome, Shannon. Hi. Thanks for being able to join us. Thank you. So tell us about the uh, Bomb School of the Arts. What is that all about? Well, the Bomb School of Art is a community arts school. We're located on Linden Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and okay. we provide instruction and guidance mm -hmm. for students of all ages who are interested in learning more about art in a variety of media. Tell us about that variety of media. What does that variety consist of? Well, it consists of the first things that come to mind, drawing and painting, of course, okay. but also uh, digital arts, photography mm -hmm. in the darkroom, mm -hmm. as well as uh, digital photography, okay. uh, ceramics, uh, jewelry making, and um, animation, sculpture, wow. a whole range. So these are programs that run in the evenings, in the afternoon, during the day. What does your schedule look like? Our schedule is pretty busy. We run classes uh, from morning until the evening uh, throughout the year. We have classes for children as mm -hmm. well as uh, college students. Wow. Uh, we do a partnership with the uh, Lehigh Carbon Community College so students can come and receive college credit mm -hmm. and also classes for uh, adults who just want to uh, take an art class and mm -hmm. learn more about a medium that inspires them. Sure. And when, you, when people sign up and they take those classes, what do you see happening to, the, to them, Shannon, as they go through those classes? Well, what I, what I find a lot is people say, oh my goodness, to take a class at the Bomb School of Art, well, I'm not an artist, mm -hmm. I, can't, I, I can't draw, mm -hmm. and a lot of them uh, just maybe have an interest in drawing or sure. painting, but don't feel like they can really do it. Mm -hmm. They say, I can't draw a straight line, but uh, our faculty is really amazing, and they're able to take you step by step through a process mm -hmm. uh, to, to bring out your skills and talents. So from the beginning of the class where a student has no confidence, it's amazing to see them finish pieces that we actually hang in our galleries at the wow. end of the sessions. Wow. And are these uh, structured classes that go on for a period of time? Tell us what that, if they sign up, what does that look like? Sure. Uh, our adult classes and our credit, four credit classes are 15-week sessions. Okay, hold on a second. So you can go to the school and get credit? You can. Wow. You actually can through Lehigh Carbon Community College. Wow. So if you are a student that's interested in art as a degree sure. and you're signing up at the community college, you would come to take, take art classes at wow. the Bomb School of Art. Wow. Okay. Um, and those classes last about 15 weeks. Okay. Our children's sessions, um, where we have classes from ages 4 sure. to 17, are 10 week sessions. Okay. And um, if a person just wants to get some instruction on how to do what they want to do, let's say take photography, they would sign up for a class that is one of the 15-week classes, or is there something that's shorter? Um, From time to time, we have shorter workshops okay. uh, that, 
that folks can look out for if they receive a catalog in the mail or go to our website. Mm -hmm. They can see what we offer from session to session. We do have a few shorter term workshops. Okay. But to really learn a medium, it's good sure. to have an extended class. Mm -hmm. right. If you're going to bring out the best in you, it's going to take a little work. Absolutely. And how long has the, uh, the school been around? Actually, uh, in 2011, the Baum School will be celebrating its 85th anniversary. Wow. So um, the school actually started in 1926. Sure. A uh, famous painter who's often called the father of art in the Lehigh Valley, Walter Emerson Baum, mm -hmm. had started a class in public school to uh, instruct teachers more in the ways of drawing and painting that they, so that they could share that with sure. their students. Mm -hmm. And that evolved into the school that we have today. Oh, very good. So Sharon, hold tight. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with you about discovering that creative side of yourself at the Baum School of Art. So please stay with us. Travel, meetings, more travel. Work more and travel less with video conferencing. There are now five video conferencing rooms serving the Lehigh Valley and Berks available for your next interview, meeting, or conference. Whether you need an executive conference room for eight or a 3,000 square foot training space for 120, we have your accommodations. And now host and book high definition video conferences with others from all over the world by going to myvideoconferenceroom.com. Don't go there, be there. Uniformnia is dedicated to giving you durable, comfortable, and high-quality school uniforms at prices your family can afford. Our online catalog is available 24 hours a day, providing top-notch customer service. We offer an extensive variety of colors and sizes for both boys and girls from some of the largest uniform manufacturers within the United States. So visit us at www.uniformnia.com. Durable, comfortable, high-quality clothing for America's student. At Bridge to Creative Learning and Child Care Center, your child will learn and play the creative way in a safe and secure environment. We offer a fun and caring educational-based atmosphere and allow parents to monitor their child's activities. We are a state-licensed child care center offering academic preparation, after-school programs, creative learning, summer activities, and much more. Call us at 610-351-7400. Prepare your child for a brighter future. back with Shannon Fugate, who is the director of the Baum School of Art. So Shannon, we were talking about all the school has to offer. Um, how would a person make a, an entree into the school? What do they need to do to find out more about what you offer and uh, to possibly register for a class? Well, uh, anyone who's interested can, of course, stop by our school and sure. talk with any of us on staff and try to find the best class for them. But some other easier options are to give us a call mm -hmm. or to uh, visit our website at www.bombschool.org. Good. And what are some of the people that have gone to your, your school? What do they have to say about that experience? Well, it, you know, it, it varies. Uh, students, sometimes if they're coming for college credit, go on and pursue degrees. Mm -hmm. Um, some keep coming back. We have students who have been taking classes for years and years wow. at the school and they just love the environment, being around creative people, and they come back to uh, continue their the life, work. The lifelong learners. Absolutely, wow. and it's so important. Um, you know, we have programs for children, we have programs for adults, we have senior citizen programs mm. where students can receive financial aid. So we're really interested wow. in opening up those uh, possibilities to everyone. Mm -hmm and really having a continued relationship with that student. So, Well, the focus of tonight's show has been on that creative side of ourselves that needs to, to come out and shine more. What do you have to offer to our viewers as some advice about encouraging that um, creative side of themselves to come out? I would say don't be afraid of your ability level or your experience level with the arts. Uh, what's really important is to just have some enthusiasm and try something new. Mm -hmm. um, not everyone who's good at ceramics is going to also be good at drawing or jewelry, mm -hmm. but if there's just something that interests you, you can try. Mm -hmm. Try something and see how, see how it goes. But don't, yeah. don't be afraid or don't let your inhibitions about being um, the next Da Vinci stop you from taking a class. Sure. 
We're now going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish out today's show. So please stay with us. We'll be right back. It's about changing the world in which we live. It's about playing, living, and working together. It's about escaping from special programs. It's about finding leadership. And social justice. The Pennsylvania Developmental Disabilities Council believes that disability is a natural part of the human condition. We are working to create a commonwealth where all people thrive in shared citizenship. And everybody wins. I'm Malachi and I'm nine years old. Hi, I'm Jay and I am 12 years old. I'm Trayvon and I want a dad that can play ball with me. I ain't got my parents to love me forever. These are just four of hundreds of children in the Delaware Valley who are waiting for families to adopt them. You don't have to be rich to adopt. You don't have to be married or even own your own home. You just have to have room in your heart to adopt a waiting child. We were a family where we could stay together. Remember, there are no unwanted children, just unfound families. I want parents that can love me forever. I want parents who will love me forever. I want parents who love me forever. I want parents that can love me forever. You can make a difference in the way a child grows up. For more information, call the National Adoption Center, 215-735-9988, or go to the center's website at adopt.org. There's a child out there who's waiting for you. As you've watched tonight's show, we hope that you've been encouraged, empowered, and enlightened. We all have a creative side of ourselves, and it's important to find it and to nurture it. We hope that by watching and seeing some of the activities that were highlighted, that there are some interests that you have in finding that creative side of yourself that may have been lost. We thank you so much for watching tonight's show. We look forward to having you join us next week when the title of the episode will be Relationships Matter. Till then, please be well. A list of resources related to today's show is available on our website, which is navigatingyourlifeshow.com. On this site, there is a connection to our Facebook and Twitter pages and to our blog. While you are there, you can also email your comments on today's show or share ideas for future shows.